The song Church Girl has caused a great divide in the body of Christ in the Lord's Church. Stay tuned. God bless you, friends. Thank you for joining me on Morning Nuggets. This is yours truly, Pastor Nate. It is my absolute pleasure when I can come and speak with you. I pray that this video finds you exceptionally well. Friend, the body of Christ is divided like never before. I know for quite some time now there has been division in the body of Christ. You have the Baptist, you have the Methodist, you have the Pentecostal, and so forth. Different denominations, different religions. And that's not how God intend for it to be. This song recently, Church Girl, has really demonstrated a divide in the body of Christ. Since the song has been written, the church world has gone nuts. I mean, you have some people, some believers say that it's okay. We get our music from the world anyway. It's been happening a long time. And then you have some believers who say it is not godly, unacceptable, I'm not compromising. I want you to take a listen of two type of groups we have here. We have a group of people who are totally against the song, who say it's disrespectful and it's ungodly, and you have a group of people who seem to be okay with it. I want you to take a listen to the first group of people who opposes the song. I'm saying, me, church girls, I've I've, I'm listening to preachers, preachers now, defending her and saying, yeah, well, the girls in the church, they all screwing the deacon and they all having sex with the preacher and they all doing this and doing that. Now, maybe the girls that you know are doing that, but not everybody's doing that. And if you read the lyrics, you will see how disrespectful that song is to the body of Christ. Why are Christians listening to Beyonce to begin with? The song seems to insinuate that you can sin without consequences, and I'm here to remind you that that's not the case. Beyonce may be a musical genius, but her theology ain't it. I... Yes, you have Patrick Wooden who's been preaching on it for the last couple messages, and he's just not going to bow. You know, he's from the old school. Holiness is holiness. Holiness is right. And what Beyonce did is unacceptable. Hey, you got to respect the man who stand for something because if you don't stand for something, you may fall for anything. Oh, let the church say amen. Come on now. Then you have Monique from the Henry Monique channel. She says it is disrespectful, so she disagrees with it. Then you have a young man who says, why are we listening to Beyonce anyway? Y'all supposed to be the church. Why are you listening to that type of music in the first place? And then you have a young lady who says, look, the song implies that you can sin without consequences. And that is not the case. There are consequences for sin. Beyonce, your theology is wrong. That's what this young lady was saying. Then you have a group of people who seem to think it was okay. And I want you to take a listen. Thanks, Beyonce, for listening to my music. And I hope it blesses your soul. All right, now y'all leave Beyonce alone. Leave her alone. Secular artists do this because they honor us. We honor you so much, we're going to put some money in your pocket. Yes, you have Twinkie who is thanking Beyonce because Twink is the one who wrote the song. Beyonce used that song at the beginning of Church Girl. Twink is from the Clark Sisters. Then you have Dorinda saying, hey, y'all, leave Beyonce alone. Twink and Dorinda are sisters, and they are both from the Clark Sisters. Then you have Marvin Sapp, who's saying, hey, y'all, it's an honor when the world want to use our music. He also said, they're putting money in your pocket. Mm, do you think he's compromising? I don't know. I'm sure y'all going to let me know. But friend, before I close this exhortation, I see a bigger picture here. I see, as I stated before, the enemy is using a strategy to further divide the body of Christ. There's a scripture say, a house divided against itself cannot stand. The world is going to be confused because they send this division in the body of Christ. The division and the controversy are among people of influence, people whom the world admire. So you got this group of people who said it's okay, and you got that group of people who says it's not okay. That's going to confuse the world. We cannot look like the true church, the body of Christ, with all this division and chaos.
it's going to be hard for us to look like the true church with this division. Y'all let me know what you think. Leave your comments in the comment section. You know I respond to all comments and I'll be glad to hear your opinions on the matter. Thank you for joining me. If you like what you've been hearing, please don't forget to subscribe. We'd be glad to have you part of the Smart Family. In the meantime, in between time, be at peace and not in pieces. Till next time, my friend.